Right, tell the other champs, and what do we have here? You know, when it's a big box like this, it is something serious. I mean, it's a huge box, huge box. Channeling my tiny Tom there. Let's open it up and see what it is. Well, of course, I already know what it is. It's the Zeus's new, or new, in Australia at least, W700G. And this laptop's claim to fame is, it is a 17 inch workstation. I think it has Quadro graphics. I'm not sure if this model does, but we'll soon find out. Also, one of the thinnest 17 inch workstations and the quietest. Well, Ash is gonna get excited for that because it is supposed to be super quiet. Wow, so straight away, have a look at that. I mean, that's pretty cool packaging, you know, with the theme of sort of like a workstation for, you know, a studio. It looks like something you would find in a studio, doesn't it? Nicely packaged there. Because indeed we do come with a power brick here. So what we have here is a 180 watt power adapter. So that's much more than say the XPS 17, which is 130 watts or the MacBook Pro 16, which is like 96 watts. So, you know, these will be the laptops that you compare this to because this is a workstation. Maybe you can compare it to the Z books and stuff like that as well. Or maybe even the precisions. Yeah, your power cord there, Australia. So yeah, it's nice smallish brick for a 180 watter. Also get ethernet in here. So that's good because, you know, if you're working in a production environment, you're probably going to want Ethernet. So, baby, so let's open her up. Got to say, I like this packaging. Very nice. So hopefully this has a Quadro in it. Whoa, look at that. Let's take her out. Ah! There you go. 5.5 pounds it is. What's that? 2.5 kilos or something. So yeah, the 5.5 pound one is actually the one with the big battery. It's a 95 watt hour battery and you can get a 67 watt hour battery. That's the one without the hard drive. I don't know which one this is. We'll soon find out. Uh, let's open her up. Whoa. And yes, I can look on the box, but I want to be surprised. So there you go. Some venting on the bottoms, drawing some air there. Um, what do we got on the top? Oh, oh, I touched it, unfortunately. That beautiful machined finish. No one does that machining like a Zeus, all right? That brushed sort of aluminium, 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 and that gold touch there. Very classy, you know, elegant. Yeah, it is very nice. That finish is superb. So it doesn't matter if you sort of, you know, get abrasions on it because it's sort of, you know, it's brushed, so it's all right. Very thin, I think it's 20 mil or something. So on the left hand side you have the power jack, you have HDMI 2.0, USB 3.1 Gen 2, audio jack and full size SD card reader. And I do believe that's UHS 4 and that's a Thunderbolt 3 there. And on this side here we have two USB type A's, Gen 3.1 Gen 2. So you can see there how thick it is, it's less than 20 mil even though on the specs it says it's more than 20 mil. So. I don't know what's going on there. So it is a thin and light laptop. You get a Quadro in here. I believe this one has a Quadro. Let's open up and have a look. Find out what it has in it. Ooh, look at that. Yes. And you do get that trackpad, of course, that you can change into a number pad. So that's awesome. So you don't need the full-size keyboard, tactile, uh, you know, inverted T's there. That's nice. It looks nice. It looks classy, stylish. 16 by 10, okay, 16 by 10. Now I do have this portable 45 watt package brick. I'll leave this in the description. Um, we'll see if it can power Thunderbolt 3. So Wolf, this thing here is a serious piece of kit. Xeon, has a Xeon. You can see there, Xeon. So, you know, that's cool. One of my first laptops with a Xeon. I think it is my first laptop with a Xeon. Also, Quadro, baby. So what kind of Quadro is it? Um, we have a Xeon E2275, is that right? 75M, so basically the 9750H. And also we have a Quadro in here. What Quadro do we have? We have the T1000 Quadro, which is a four gigabyte memory GPU. So it's gonna be very interesting to see how this is performing in Premiere Pro. 
It's going to have, it's a quadro, right? So it's going to have the quadro drivers for workstation applications. It's going to be great. We're going to do a bit of a thermal test here, not so much to test the thermals, to test that sound because it says here, no throttling. And also it says it's one of the quietest workstations on the market. So, you know, when you talk about high performance, 15 inch, 17 inch laptops, you know, saying, oh, complaining about the fans is like complaining that the sun's bright, you know, duh, you know. They're going to be loud. They have to, you know, expel heat from this chassis. So, but this is supposed to be the quietest one. We'll find out. Also, this display here is a full HD plus. So you can only get a full HD plus. It's basically 100% P3 around just over 300 nits. It's supposed to be. We'll test that out, of course. So it is a good display. Wide color gamut. Full HD plus. You can't get a 4K plus 16 by 10. That is the thing, right? Awesome 16 by 10. I'm going to check which battery I have. If you have a full HD plus display, the battery life will be amazing. If you have the big battery, of course. Also, Delta E of less than 1.5. So that means, you know, the color it's supposed to be, the Delta error is less than 1.5. So that is really good. If you get 1, 1.5, that is excellent. You know, most laptops are about 2, 3. So this is really good. So this is actually new to Australia, it just actually got launched last night and I actually launched another laptop which I'll talk about because this thing looks amazing, the ASUS Xbook Book Pro which is a business laptop, 14 inch laptop and we're talking something here that is like 870 grams so that's like less than 2 kilos, is that right? I mean 2 pounds, 14.9 millimeters, all day battery life. Uh, v Pro, it's a business laptop, up to 16 gigabytes, Wi-Fi 6, you can put two M.2s in there, has Thunderbolt 3, it looks amazing, 66 watt hour battery up to, of course, the light one will have a smaller battery, but it looks really good, fast charging, and I really hope I get to review that laptop, also had a Chromebook, we don't talk about Chromebooks, they don't exist to me, but yeah, also launched this Pro Art Studio laptop, so yeah, I'm going to get stuck into this, this looks amazing. Right, let's get in here. Let's slam this GPU and CPU at once. So let's hit that GPU. Let's go. What do we get? Oh, Quadro. Let's go. Boom, Quadro. Cinebench, CPU, woof. And let's have a look here. Start Cinebench. Come on, come on, come on. Why does it take so long? Anyway, so let's get rid of that. It's running GPU and CPU all at once. We'll put these things in here. And 77 watts on the CPU there. We're getting 35 watts on the GPU, which is its maximum. That's a 35 watt GPU, this uh, Quadro in this one. And we're still pushing 66 watts, 65 watts on the CPU. And we're getting what, 96 degrees? Can't hit a fan, fan's not on. We have the GPU run at 36 watts or 35 watts. And that is, what's the temperature of 61 degrees? So that has a maximum of 65 it went up to. Still pushing 60 watts on the CPU, 96 degrees. No fans yet. Fans just started to come on now. Okay. So that's pretty good. That's a good sign when the fans don't come on straight away. Still 96 degrees. 60 watts on the CPU. 65 degrees on the GPU. And 35 watts, 96 degrees on the CPU. Still pushing 35 watts on the CPU, GPU, sorry, and 60 watts on the GPU. Fans have come on now. I'll give you a noise print here. Okay, you probably can hear me from back here, but that is full fan noise in this mode. It doesn't get louder than that. It doesn't get louder than that, I promise you. So 60 watts on the CPU, 60. 60 watts on the CPU and still 35 watts on the GPU, so that is 100% maximum performance. This will go down to 60 watts on the CPU in this mode. This is in dynamic mode. It's not. I can actually put the fans on louder if I want. Still 3.5 gigahertz on the CPU, uh, 96 watts, uh, 96 degrees, 60 watts on the CPU, 35 watts on the GPU, and 65 degrees. So I can tell you right now, the Quadro's just finished there. I can tell you right now, it is 42 decibels in this mode, and that's finished there at 2,500. It will get about 2,900 stock without the GPU running, so a little bit of a haircut, but not that much, um, and the GPU is pretty much full speed. So that is quite amazing, 42 decibels. For reference, XPS 15 around 59, 60 decibels, oh sorry, 49, 50 decibels. 
MacBook Pro is around 50, 51, 52 decibels. So, you know, pushing up around 10 decibels quieter than those systems. Certainly around 10 decibels quieter than MacBook Pro and, you know, at least eight decibels or, you know, six, seven, eight than the XPS 15. So quite amazing and we're getting full performance. We're getting the full 60 watts on the CPU and a full 35 watts on the GPU. So that is great. You've got a quiet system now that you can content create on. Oh, that is music to my ears. So anyway, stay tuned for the review of this. Uh, catch you in the next one, guys. Tally ho. Oh, one thing here. Oh, one thing here.